Hey, this is Isaac Kotick, aka Subaqueous, and I'm going to be showing off my Celtic Harp Instrument Rack in Ableton Live. This is for free by donation on my site, Subaqueous Music, and I'm just going to play a little bit and then talk about the different parameters we've got here and kind of my philosophy around making this instrument. So first of all, let's hear some sounds. You can hear it's a very clean, very precise sounding Celtic Harp. And let's open this up a little bit. Right here, we've got this first layer. It's another instrument rack. It's a rack within a rack. And this rack has two different parts to it, two layers. So the first layer is the harp. And if we go simpler to sampler, if you're in suite, you can then see it in the sampler. And then I can click here and see all the different notes that are used to make up this instrument. But if you only have standard, then you can just keep it the way it is. And this is in simpler and it's ready for you to use. But that's pretty much all the different notes. And I made them in uh, using a combination of some sound design techniques as well as physical modeling. Physical modeling was the main part of making this sound. And then I went ahead and designed it and made sure that all the different notes sounded good, that all the volumes were pretty clear and, and, and level. And then I went ahead and made another layer, which is right here. And this one is using a note off command. I can basically create more of a kind of an organic pluck type sound. So let's just solo that. This basically happens as soon as I let go of the note. Now with this, you generally think of plucking, you would pluck it straight ahead, right, just really quickly, and you'd get that pluck sound as well as the sound of the, the decay. And I found adding those two layers together gave it a much more realistic, good sound that I was looking for. And then a few of the effects, we've got the classics, we've got some reverb, got delay, chorus, phaser, we have overdrive, and then I really like this arpeggiator, so if I can turn it on, I can then affect the rate here. Makes it really easy to control and just add some arpeggiation if you want. And you can see I can get quite a range here. by just using those effects. So there you go. This is my for free by donation instrument rack over at subaqueousmusic.com, a link in the description. And this is just one of, oh man, I, I think we're almost up to 200 or past 200 uh, instrument racks and samples. So check out the site. There's tons there for you. And if you feel like donating to help me continue to make stuff, awesome, that's great. If not, just grab it and throw it in your production. I love using this instrument in my music because it, it it's a nice balance between the delicate, clean sounds of this harp with maybe some like bigger synthesizers or crunkier sounds that I make with bass, and it gives it a nice juxtaposition. So yeah, check it out, download it, and thanks a lot.